just when he thought there was the fastest killing SMG and then you were wrong because you thought you were right, but you're wrong. Here we are back with a new video. KSP. Three letters, three words. I don't know where I'm going with this, but it kills in one burst. It is the fastest killing SMG in the game, especially when you hit the one burst. Time to kill is actually really absurd with this gun. Hitting shots is important. Obviously, one bursting is really important, but trust me, this gun with these attachments is actually very dominant. You guys got to check out the gameplay and then check out the class. All right, guys, so we do got the gold KSB in action right now. And this gun is, if you did not know, one of the fastest time to kill with a sub. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This thing is incredible. Burst him. Burst him. What? Burst him. Fuck. Dude, this thing is so good, man. Oh my god. I feel like a kid with with with, with cake. Ooh. Running the best class, and as you guys know, it's something I've started doing uh, recently, but I will be having the class set up at the end of the video. Ooh. So when you think about the KSP, it can kill in one burst. Now, pro players have tried using this gun. It definitely has potential. The problem about the KSP, it lacks a little bit of range. But is the time to kill the fastest out of any sub? Especially up close? Yes, as a sub, I think it kills absurdly fast. I think it has one of the fastest time to kill um more so because of that close range but if you think about it like long ranges yeah the damage like the, the range drop off isn't the best but that makes it even more incredible up close and it doesn't drop so well up close that guy's one shot let's see it. oh the oh, two wow. burst okay. Just pull out. okay yeah you like that ksp man i got gold with this camo i got gold camo on it man and what really makes it I feel like the top of the level is the attachments I'm running right now. Like I said, class setup will be at the end of the video, but this gun is really good. Man, if this thing had a little bit more range, this thing will go be, be in the meta. It'll we'll be the first time seeing a burst SMG in the meta if this thing had more range. Like, isn't that crazy to think about? And the only reason, like, I guess maybe the Pharaoh, what, in BO3 or IW? I don't even remember what game that it was in, but that actually had some good range. It was a pretty good gun. We could do over here. Oh, one HP. <laughs> Yo, I'm dancing all these guys, man. They don't, they can't stop me, man. The damage, dude, the damage output is absurd. And I'm telling you, if you actually check the stats and use this gun, you'll see what I mean when it, like, how fast it's time to kill on this gun. If you hit your shots, or like those one burst, man. Yo, what the fuck? Now, one of the most asked questions I get all the time is, well, Apathy, can it be used in the meta, right? Because you guys want to know if the gun is viable enough or... Oh, my Look God. <laughs> I know. I'm lucky. I mean, I'm, I'm the one doing it, but... I know you guys are wondering, like, oh, I wasn't ready for that. If it can be in the meta, pro players have, like I said, give it a try. Um, it's the biggest thing is like what I mentioned with the range. It just has, it's a, it's a lot harder to beat people. Right there, I was just completely out of it and missing. But it's a lot harder to beat people from very far ranges compared to like a 74U. But dude, that one burst action right there, lordy, dude, it's... Okay, I can't counter shotgun, I'll be honest. If this gun somehow got like a damage range buff, where they somehow increase the damage and not the damage range just like the weight like the way the gun shoots i don't know like the, the range for some reason isn't the best like you still shoot people from far don't worry i do but like still not good enough you want to try to keep close quarter combat you want to try to be in these closer engagements and closer fights because that's where the gun is the most dominant so just quick tip try to be mindful of that when using this gun oh no I don't know what it is, but these guys out of nowhere have turned up. But you can't run away from the Reaper. The Reaper comes for you. The Reaper is here. And I don't know where this guy's here, but he's here too with beer. And he knows I'm here. Wait, I know I'm here. Uh, that was the burst. Dude, where? Oh, he's the bus. Oh, two piece. No, shotgun, 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 shotgun. Oh, you know what, guys? I have a quick question for you guys. And I want you guys to be honest, because I'm actually curious. What SMG would you like to be in the meta? So if you had to choose an SMG, KSB, 74U, anything, what would you like for it to be in the meta? You have to, you have to answer honestly, okay? 
And while you're at it, while you leave that down in the comments below or after the end of the video, make sure to leave that damn like, man. Like the video, man. So we do got some TDM Crossroads here. Crossroads is actually one of my favorite ma Wow. These guys are twisted. For that reason. Okay. This guy's not playing. Two piece. Three piece. Wait for it. Four piece. Five piece. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Like I said, Crossroads is actually one of my favorite maps and one of my favorite pub maps. The engagements you can get on this map can be so high. And it's a very fast paced map, to say the least. Oh my god, this map is crazy, dude. TDM is crazy. Oh no. I don't know how you guys feel about TDM. Ooh, almost hit him with a hit fire one burst, but I didn't get him. But I'm not a fan of TDM. But it don't matter because we do got some crazy SB SBMM going on. Oh, smoke. Don't run for me. Don't run for me. Don't. We're currently playing five level hundreds. Five. Five. We're losing by 10. It seems like the more the game goes on, the higher the, the more we lose by. You know, one burst. No, no armor. Collateral sniper. Guys, I might be a pro player, but even I don't like playing the sweatiest lobbies of all time. Get off me, kid. You're not, you're not apathy pro level. If you dislike this BMM like I do, can we get likes? Can we get, can we get 444 likes in this video? Oh, come on, brother. K, like KSP is handling these kids. Absolutely destroying these kids, bro. Screw you, SBMM. But one thing I hate to dislike about SBMM is I, I just like TDM SBMM. And I'm running this Crossroads Moscow playlist. And it's just tough, man. I mean, I'm playing pretty well, but I just hate losing. And that's that's what it's looking like is going to happen. We're going to lose this game. Dude, but this gun, like... Like, damn, dude. Like, I'm literally destroying these guys by myself with this with this KSP. Oh, good shots. Like, this should be even a bigger proof that that this KSP is actually, like, means business, man. And it really does. I, You know, I don't want you guys to think, like, this gun sucks or anything. Like, this gun's actually really good. Five low hundreds. Damn. I must have destroyed the, the last lobby so hard that... SBMF said, listen, bro, you're too good. Like, you're absolutely nasty. Like, we got to give you a harder lobby, brother. Brother, like, these guys can't even hold me. But when you're destroying my whole team and getting all the kills, then, you know, I, you know, we're going to lose regardless. But, hey, man, you do you, SBMF. You do you. I'm dead. I'm not. Not yet. He's running away. And they just double team me, bro. One burst. I think. Looked like a one burst. See, when you miss that first burst, then you guys sometimes hit the two burst. Oh my god, we lost. That's a GG. Oh. Oh, damn. Damn, bro. Like, I'm not even dying. My whole team just dying on me, dude. Defeat. Jesus, man. Hey, GG's, man. You guys are so talented and good and nasty. All right, all right, all right. We're here. We're here to the class setup video of the KSB. This nasty, absolutely amazing gum. So for the first attachment, we're going to run the SOCOM Eliminator. A huge boost to vertical recoil control. Now, I know what you guys are about to say. Why are you going to negatively impact the horizontal when it already has a lot? I've tested it with the SOCOM and without the SOCOM, like a muzzle break or no barrel at all. And it jumps too much. It's just so hard to control. So you want to rock the SOCOM. For the barrel, we're going to be running Task Force. Why? Bullet velocity, damage range. The damage doesn't really help. Maybe one out of 30, 20 gunfights. But the bullet velocity damage range together is so good. 17 meters has some, some good bullet velocity to it. It makes it kill even faster. Now, the negatives is it gives it a little bit more recoil. So that's where some of these attachments come in and in play. And you just got to learn control a little bit. We're going to be running the field agent grip for the most of uh, recoil control. For the handle, we're going to run the airborne elastic wrap. Yes, sir. And then we're going to be running the Raider stock. Very fast ADS speed as well when you're ADSing. If you didn't know it, as you can straight pretty fast. Guys, that's going to be it for today's video, man. I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure to leave a like. And like I said, comment down below what is your favorite SMG. 
SMG or what SMG you actually like to see in the meta, the pro meta. Um, for me, I honestly like the 74U. I hope the 74U stays, but I'm curious what you guys are thinking. And I'll see you guys next time. I appreciate you guys as always, man. Mucho love and respect. Oh, peace.